my way of thinking, a, a good tattoo needs to work with the body from whichever angle it's viewed from. To me, that is the most important aspect of my particular style of tattooing. My interest in tattooing first began in New Zealand. I was a painter anyway. I have joined a group of painters in Wellington, the capital of New Zealand. One of the other painters was also a tattoo artist by the name of Roger Ingerton. I got intrigued by it and he did a small tattoo on me. And that was the beginning and eventually I said, Roger, I want to try this myself. It was just another medium that I wanted to try. I didn't think I wanted to be a tattoo artist. At the age of about 40, 42, I started to get interested in a tattoo for myself. So I started to get every book and every piece of literature I could find on the subject. And in a 10 year period, I decided on Trevor as my artist. And I literally spent 10 years uh, searching for the right person. Coming to the final stages of this tattoo, so it's one of the last pieces that I'll be doing on Joe's. My approach to tattooing has always been freehand. I, I never use stencils. When the client comes to me, I'll draw the design on, on the area of the body. I think the, the things that really describe Trevor's style to me are that he, um, he really works to get the tattoo to fit the body, to follow the body, and to follow the form of the body. This particular tattoo is a mixture of a fusion of uh, different Polynesian styles. What I'm doing now is Maori. I guess that's what marks my work, is the, is the fusion that I'm creating between all the different styles. And as I started working with Trevor little by little, I started getting more into the other more geometric stuff, and, and that's where he really shines. I mean, he can make all those different styles come together and just blend so well and everything flows into one piece into the next and it just, it just grows. I would describe his, his artistry as um, his island style. He's an island man. The name of his studio, Oceanic Arts, pretty much describes his style just, all, just in the name. My style over the last 12 or 13 years has encompassed Polynesian design. I hesitate to say Polynesian tattoo because I draw the influence from all of their art, their carvings and their, their pottery and, and their weaving. Trevor's work for me personally, he's got the uncanny ability to be technically exact, organically flowing and spiritually fulfilling. And for me, that was, that was it. I would describe his work as bold and graphic, yet still refined and ornate. To get to where I am in my career now, it's been important for me to have an artistic and a technical side. My artistic side is developing naturally. My technical side, I've had to focus on and develop a style, a method of applying my tattoos that works for me. Polynesian design to the Polynesians has m many meanings. I'm not trying to take their designs and their meanings and interpret them in my work. I'm simply taking the, the design aspects of their artwork. It's an abstract art form. I'm not trying to tell a story with my tattoos. I'm just trying to make a beautiful design out of them. I've always been really drawn to corsets and lacing and that kind of imagery. I wanted something corset-like on my back. After I met Trevor at this tattoo shop, um, I came in and we did a consultation and it came up basically with what I have on my back now. And um, I think we both ended up pretty happy with it. I've got a armband, a small armband done in Hawaii and it was one of Trevor's designs. At that point, I uh, started to find Trevor and uh, being a fellow countryman, a fellow Kiwi, I thought, oh, this is perfect. You know, went through the magazines and websites and, and until I found him. I wanted something that talked about the ocean, that sea life horizons. And with Trev's Polynesian style designs, uh, we created a piece that uh, that covered all those things. I'm a sailor very much into the ocean and the environment and things. 
and so we chose a background from New Zealand and a traditional voyaging canoe. We gave Trevor the idea and uh, I says, yeah, have at it. It's hard to explain to somebody an idea that's in your head and, and how to still to get it on paper and, and then for him to translate all of that into something that you like and want, it's, uh, you know, it's quite a stretch. If it's someone you can feel like you can trust, you know, turning your idea into reality. I think an artist, a tattoo artist, needs to be more than an artist. He also needs an understanding of the, the mechanics of what he's doing. And developing my own style, I've tried to look beyond the tattoo world. There is a lot of crossover in culture and design. I'm trying to make my own aesthetic out of it. People look at the work on my body that Trevor did, and even people who don't like tattoos like the work, like the tattoo. And I, that to me is the greatest compliment in the world.